Is that him? Yes, the one.
Secondly, um, I always want to uh, look at our staff. Um, obviously, I'm the spokesperson. But the, the bottom line is, is I can't get the job done without the people behind me. Um, a lot of times you may not see them, but I do, and I appreciate what they do. So I want to make sure that I, you guys, clap them up for the people that uh, that I introduce. First off, our father counselors. Okay, stay. Everybody, step out for your father and mother counselor. Let's give them a round of applause. They did a great job. They had a lot to do, as you can see, getting the fields ready, making sure the kids get to where they need to be. I mean, we, if we actually went through the week and lost nothing. That's a, that's a testament to them. Lost nothing. We lost some clicks momentarily, but they got feet and found their way back. So, other than that, we pretty much went through the whole week, but not a whole lot of things lost. They did a fantastic job. I cannot thank you enough for volunteering your time. I can't thank you enough what you've done for the kids this week. You're an important uh, part of the process. I want you guys to know that personally. I really appreciate what you did this week. Okay? Other people I'd like to thank is we got two tour counselors. 
They're on the uh, truck now, loading it up. The guys have always got the field set every day. Uh, it's Isaiah Perrin and Josh Planner. Please give them a round of applause. I also want to give thanks to uh, uh, my assistant ops director, which is Milo Williams. He did a great job this week in making sure your kids were where they needed to be and made sure he took care of the dormitory. So please give Milo a round of applause. coordinator this week, Dylan Richardson. Uh, guy's done a fantastic job this week. If anybody watched OVTV, he did a fantastic job. He's also going to have a lot of cuts, a lot of things that we had during the week that will be put displayed on our website. Uh, he did a great job. And those are things that you can't, uh, when you go back and if you get an opportunity to get those, those are memories that you'll never see. Some of you guys will never hear and he's going to have them on film. So he did a great job this week running around and making sure the video was right, the video instruction was uh, correct. And that takes a lot of work when you're one guy trying to chase around 150 kids. Okay? So let's give Dylan a round of applause. <laughs> I also want to thank my school person who's over at Cowboys Stadium, Michelle Faith. Uh, I think she did a great job this week in making sure the kids had food to eat, snacks. She was on time, very friendly, did a great job. Uh, a lot of professionalism in the store, so I always like to thank her too. I always like to thank my trainers because if your trainers didn't do their job, your kids couldn't stay on the field. Okay? That's the truth. There's a lot of deans and guys that are banged up and guys that have that, you know, that to put powder all over themselves and all that stuff. I think our trainers did not a good job. Not a good job. We had one really bad injury. Other than that, pretty much everybody has come back. Okay? Um, uh, I call them Coach Dante and Letitia. Where you at? Both y'all stand up. seeds in your kid's life for them to be able to look at a guy that has been successful in everything he's done. Okay? A lot of NFL guys don't want to do what Bill Bates is doing. They're too busy. They're too worried about everything else. They're too worried about uh, going on trips and doing those things. They're too busy. What Bill Bates did is he said, you know what, I'm going to take four days out of my life, five, and I'm going to invest back in your kids. And that to me says a lot. And that's a 15-year NFL veteran. We're not talking about a guy that just walked off the street. Okay? A 15-year NFL veteran that says, you know what, kids are important. And he made that commitment to you guys this week. And if you were out at practice, you could see that he was coaching and just as committed like he was his own kids out there. And that's all you can ask from head coach. Please give Coach Bates a round of applause.
everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. everybody all uh, that has done a great job for you this week. Now it's where the real stuff starts. We recognize the kids that did an outstanding job. One thing I want you to know is it's not a guy in here that's not a winner this week. Not one. If you don't win an award, does not say you're not a winner. Okay? Life and what you did this week, the heat, coordinate, going from place to place and doing it the right way, you're a winner. You are a winner. Because there's a lot of kids that aren't doing it right now. They're playing video games and they're staying in the house and they're not wanting to do what you're doing. You are a winner. So do not let a word dictate how you take things. Everybody in here was a winner this week because you did the right thing. Okay, you did the right thing all the time. And what I want you to do is understand that that's what it takes to be a winner in life. Doing things right and doing them right all the time. Are you going to make mistakes? Yes, you are. But don't make the big ones. Make the small ones and learn from them. Y'all did a great job this week. Please give those guys a round of applause. I'm going to bring these guys up from the left, coming up this way, if you make sure they're all right, and they're going to come meet you here. You're going to put the medals on. They're going to shake hands, and then they're going to go back for a cut. All right. Here we go. Awards time. Everybody ready? Are you ready? Oh, yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Good. Six years old to eight years old. Quarterback award goes to Emmett Nikah. Good job, Jay. Running back award, Dylan 
George. to the All-American game, but an invitation to the Elite game. I want to make sure we know that. David Franco. <laughs> With that award, they also get $100 off their next camp. Seven performance award winners in that age group. 11 to 12 years old. Quarterback, Andres Puentes. Oh, no. 
Jonas. <risos>
Justin Anthony.
to the other side so you can get him because you can't get him from there.
<laughs> you think you're recruiters? It's terrible. It's terrible. Is there recruiters here? No, I, 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 I do all that. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes, I didn't even feel it. Man. <laughs> you ain't putting up with nothing, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Who does he belong to? Because damn. He's a secret. <laughs> and I'm about to, I'm about to, hey, people that come to Austin, baby. He's going to Austin. He's going to Austin, he's going to Oklahoma. You see that? How about that? I don't know. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Let's go, baby, let's go. 
that back goes away. Just be quick right now. Three, two, four, back, come back at it. Okay. If it comes at you, that can come right back. You understand what I'm saying? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't be running around. Let's go. 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 Let
Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Harrison. you to be successful you just saw you never know the last play of the game ties it up and then you can win it that is what it's all about you never quit it doesn't matter how much you're down or how much you're ahead don't ever quit don't ever give up live life that way that's the way football is I am proud of you I'm so thankful that I got to coach you guys all these coaches, thank you. You made it very successful. Remember, time goes by way too fast. Create those memories and always do your best. Do what's right. You can treat each other the way you want to be treated. Okay, guys? I'm proud of you. Way to go. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Great job. Do what I like. You compete. That's what it's all about. What you did today is you compete. What I want you to do is back up the stand. I feel like you're like up in there. I mean, you can, you can, you can, hey, hey, let, let me tell you what you have. You have to learn how to compete in life. Okay? You're going to have to compete when you're tested against people. You're going to have to compete when people challenge you about things in your life. What you got to do is you got to have a great core belief. Your belief has got to be what really makes you go. You have to, be, you have to set that character mode early. Okay? That character mode early. You have to, right now, hey, it's your most influence where people are going to tell you to do things you shouldn't do. All I can tell you is learn how to compete in life. Everything you do, ask yourself if you're doing it right, you're doing it 100 miles an hour, okay, and are you trying to be successful with it? If any of those fall apart and it has anything to do with deteriorate your character, you need to get out of it, you need to get away uh, from it right then and right now. The biggest thing about character, it recognizes things that are not right in your life. Let me repeat that. The thing about character is it realizes the things in your life that are not right and it gets away from you. You need to understand that sometimes you've got to walk away 
not only from, from things that you have, like alcohol and drugs and things like that, but you have to walk away from friends that you care about and that you love. Because you know what? It's going to deteriorate your character. Okay? That's the biggest thing I want you to leave when you get your character. Have it. Have it in everything you do. Have it in your grades. Okay? Have it in your football program. Have it with the teachers that you have in your school. Have great character at home. Okay? Do the things that are loving at home. Do your chores. Okay? Do what mom and dad asked the first time and not the fifth time. Okay? Honor your parents. I tell you all the time, God tells you in the Bible, I told you I'm a godly guy, so I'm not pushing it on you. But what he says is, he says to honor your pa uh, parents and respect them, you get the gifts of life. Mm -hmm. You understand that's true? If you do what you're called to do, but you'll get gifts that are just unbelievable. What I want you to do is I want you to do that. Honor them. Honor them in everything that you do. It's all right too, to go home and love on your, your mama and give her a hug. Tell her how much you love her. Like you did when you were eight years old and you were seven years old. And you wanted that popsicle, you know what I mean? You hug her. Yeah, I love your mama. That popsicle. <laughs> hug mama and love on her. She needs that. She wants to know that the son that she brought up, the son that she's invested her life in, has that same love that she has in her heart. You need to be reciprocating it. The second part is, is do the same thing with your father. The father's made to be the disciplinarian. He's made to get in your family. He's made to make sure that you do things the right way. But most of all, you need to make sure you understand he's not doing it because he doesn't like you. He does it because he loves you. Okay? That's the most important part of it. He's going to do things you don't like, but he does it because he cares about you. It's all right to go to your dad and give him a hug, even if he's not a hug. Hey, dad, I love you, man. That's all right. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being that? That's what we're called to do, to love each other. So make sure you do that. Love your parents, man. Love your brothers and sisters. And I mean, when I talk about love, I mean, I'm talking about having it in here, man. In here where you can't get no more. Okay? In here where you hug your mom and man, and tears well up in your eyes because you mean it, you're so emotional about it. That's what it's all about, man. They love you so much that they want to bring you to camp. They love you so much because they want you to be great men. Guess what? Honor them. Honor them. Honor them. Honor them. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Sir. Proud of you this week, man. I'm proud. I'm proud as heck of every God is in here. Okay, I want you to go take this experience and I want you to do something with it. Talk about it. Tell people how good it was. Most of all, live what you have here. Get all those things, those experiences, those different friends that you have. And, and go out and have a great life, man. What are we talk about? Character equals? Yes. Character equals? Yes. Character equals? Yes. Man, I want everybody here to have the greatest legacy. I want you to leave something that's imprinted in this ground. Always. Leave a darn legacy, man. Make a name for yourself. Make me see you 20 years ago. Man, I remember that guy. Football camp, I remember that guy. And that guy right there made a legacy. That means the one to God that I said do it, did what I asked him to do. Okay? Make a legacy, man. Let's get it here one more time. Break it down. Let's go, boys. Good job, guys. Good job, buddy. Good job. 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 Good job.